away. Good morning. Uh, thanks for tuning in uh, to Today in Parliament uh, with me, Ashwarya Kapoor. First up, a look at the top stories. Day two of intercession of Parliament, uh, three bills slated in Rajya Sabha. Law Minister to present statement regarding Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Ordinance 2018 in the Upper House. Three bills also slated in Lok Sabha. Trust on improving education standards, National Council for Teacher Education Amendment Bill in Rajya Sabha, Right of Children to Free and Compulsory Education Amendment Bill 2018 also in the Upper House. And obituary references in both houses, Rajya Sabha to pay obituary reference to former US President George H.W. Bush, Lok Sabha to remember several of its former departed members. Today is the second day of the winter session of Parliament and in the Rajya Sabha on the agenda are three bills. Now these include the National Trust for the Welfare of Persons with Autism, Cerebral Palsy, Mental Retardation and Multiple Disabilities Amendment Bill 2018, the National Council for Teacher Education Amendment Bill 2018, the Right of Children to Free and Compulsory Education Amendment Bill 2018 is also slated for consideration in the Upper House. And in the Lok Sabha three bills, including the Consumer Protection Bill 2018, the New Delhi International Arbitration Centre Bill 2018 are slated to be taken up. The Dam Safety Bill 2018 is also slated to be introduced. We have with us our colleague Akhilesh Suman joining us uh, from Parliament. Akhilesh, we have been stressing enough on how significant this session is going to be ahead of the Lok Sabha elections next year. And uh, both Houses of Parliament were adjourned on day one after obituary. So today the legislative business is going to be kick-started. What is expected in both Houses today? Yeah, actually what I am getting that uh, Congress is going to, you know, put a uh, motion on this issue of RBI governor and they will want uh, some uh, discussion on this issue. And other than that, Shiv Sena MP is going to put some adjournment motion on the issue of uh, Ram Mandir. And the third thing that is going to come is the CBI. The misuse of CBI, it is being uh, put by, uh, you know, RJD MP Jai Prakash Jado. So these are the three issues and this gives you signal that what is the beginning of, uh, you know, Raj Sabha and Lok Sabha by the opposition members. That means that they start questioning the government since the very first day of this session. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you know that uh, assembly elections uh, have completed uh, their, you know, uh, counting and uh, almost uh, there is a stalemate in Madhya Pradesh, Bhopal. So yes. uh, I think Congress members may also raise the issue about the delay in counting and uh, about they will also study and read, uh, keep reading the uh, governor's uh, stance on the issue of forming the government. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting that Congress uh, may raise this issue if there is delay. And this is coinciding the, you know, Parliament session. So this might be one of the major issues in Parliament mm -hmm. if they feel that uh, uh, governor is not going according to their own wishes. So right. these are the um, three, four major issues that is, uh, you know, uh, giving a hint towards the beginning of this session as well. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, speaking about the legislative agenda, Akhilesh, uh, this is going to be a nearly month-long session. And apart from other bills, of course, the government will be looking for the passage of uh, the triple talaq bill, which is pending in the Rajya Sabha. Uh, the government had promulgated an ordinance uh, to make the practice of uh, instant triple talaq uh, as a penal offence. Uh, so that will be topmost on the government's agenda, isn't it? Yeah, it is uh, really uh, one of the major wishes of Muslim women that they should get, uh, you know, certain uh, respectability in the society and no one can just say talaq, talaq, talaq and their life is in a hell and in soup. So this was the notion, I think government read this uh, mindset and this psychology that such type of segregation was being done against the Muslim women and that is why uh, Supreme Court given a verdict and then uh, government came with the ordinance. But un uh, unless you enact some law against 
against it. If there is a tradition, you need to enact the law to abrogate the tradition, and that is why government came here and government put this in Lok Sabha. Lok Sabha passed the bill, and now it is in Raj Sabha. So Raj Sabha has to decide about the fate. But see the political, you know, whole divide is there on this issue because Muslim makes a major vote bank for many of the opposition parties, and they think that you know that. Uh, this bill is going against the you know uh, tradition of Muslims. Though mm -hmm. most of the family, you cannot say that most of the family obey this tradition, but uh, you know this is uh, somehow this is a disease in that society and um, government. And many people, other parties had also been demanding about this uh, wrong tradition. But uh, once you come to the parliament, one certain political party raises mm -hmm. this issue, then political divide comes, and this political divide is uh, there in Raj Sabha. And I think that this is a very you know, uh, confrontation is time as far as this bill is concerned, and uh, I have a doubt that whether Raj Sabha will be able to pass this bill as far as. But other than that, if right. you, if uh, other than that, if you go to that uh, uh, one of the major bills the, that uh, Prakash Jawadekar, the HRD minister, is going to propose in Raj Sabha is that of uh, education right to education bill, and he wants an amendment in the uh, bill about giving you know uh, children. Did no detention policy was there earlier in class 5 and class 8. So he want the examination to be conducted in class 5 and class 8. And if a student fails in that class 5 or class 8, mm -hmm. they will be given two months time to uh, reappear in the exam. And if they fail again, they will have to detain. So right. uh, HRD minister was telling that this is uh, uh, done to maintain the quality of education because mm -hmm. you know in the olden times uh, there was a uh, system of detention policy Absolutely. that if a student fails in the class he has to detain he has to prepare and he has to make his studies uh, in a better way right. so that he can pass the uh, exam but in in, in between uh, something has happened and government thought the earlier governments thought that detention policy is uh, you know uh, maybe against the free will and free understanding of the students right. so that was why uh, Detention, no detention policy was there. So I think this is a major amendment, and I think uh, Raj Sabha will, uh, you know, discuss it thorough. Uh, and it was passed by Lok Sabha in July 2018. Absolutely. And, uh, so Lok key Sabha bills really pending in the uh, both houses, uh, and uh, the government is looking uh, for the passage of as many bills as it can in this session, because the last session, the monsoon session of Parliament, uh, was one of the most productive ones since 2000, and government is hoping that this time. This session also turns out to be productive, but we have to wait and watch. Thank you so much, Akhilesh, for all those updates there from Parliament. And speaking about the legislative business in the Rajya Sabha today, Law Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad will lay on the table a statement uh, examining the circumstances which had, uh, which had necessitated immediate legislation by promulgation of uh, the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Ordinance 2018. And the Upper House is also slated to take up uh, the right of uh, children to free and compulsory education amendment bill 2018. Now the bill seeks to further amend the right of children to free and compulsory education act of 2009. It has been passed by the Lok Sabha. Also, HRD Minister Prakash Javrekar will move the National Council for Teacher Education Amendment Bill 2018. The bill seeks to further amend the National Council for Teacher Education Act of 1993. It has also been passed by the Lok Sabha. And the National Trust for Welfare of Persons with Autism, Cerebral Palsy, Mental Retardation and Men Multiple Disabilities Amendment Bill 2018 will also be taken up in the Rajya Sabha. The bill seeks to amend the National Trust for the Welfare of Persons with Autism, Cerebral Palsy, Mental Retardation and Multiple Disabilities Act of 1999. The bill was introduced in the Rajya Sabha by Thawar Chand Gehlot, Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment, on 18th of July 2018. And the following ministers will lay papers in the Rajya Sabha. Giriraj Singh for Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. Vijay Goel for Ministry of Parliamentary Affairs. Shiv Pratap Shukla for Ministry of Finance. Kiran Rijiju for Ministry of Home Affairs. Jayan Sinha for Ministry of Civil Aviation. An obituary references will be made in both houses of parliament today in the Rajya Sabha. Obituary reference will be made to the passing away of George H.W. Bush, the former president of the United States of America.
And the lower house so will pay obituary references to the passing away of former members, including uh, Mansoor Ali Khan, Puran Chandra, P. Manika Reddy, Mohan Jain, Shantaram Potduke, Kamla Kumari, N.D. Tiwari, Madan Lal Khurana, Narayan Swaroop Sharma and C.K. Jafar Sharif. And there will be an oath of affirmation in the Lok Sabha today. V.S. Ugrappa and L.R. Shivaram Egora will take oath or make the affirmation and sign role of members. Ugrappa represents the Bellari constituency in Karnataka while Shivaram Egora represents Mandaya in Karnataka. And that's the wrap on this edition of Today in Parliament. Do stay tuned. The proceedings of the Upper House are going to begin in a short while from now. Thanks for watching.